Hi, it's Ripke. Um, I'm just doing a quick and rough video because I remember um, being asked to show a four braid for Chala, and I'm actually making Chala, so I thought I'll try. We'll see how well this goes. All right. So here's my lip space. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to spray this um, Chala tin with non-stick cooking spray. That way it's easy to get the Chala out. I'm going to take two little logs of Chala. I'm cut them in half because that makes four. And then I am going to roll them out a little bit. And I'm going to pinch them together at the top like this. So they're kind of hanging together. Okay. And now I kind of think of them as numbers in my head. It's one, two, three, four. So this is number two. And I'm going to bring it up and put it up like that. And then I take number one and I put it in between numbers three and four. So now I switch the numbers in my head and I think this one is number one, two, three, four. And so I take number two and I put it up and I bring number one between three and four. Now I just repeat this whole process. One, two, three, four. Take two, bring it up. One goes between numbers three and four. Switch the numbers. One, two, three, four. Number two goes up. Number one goes between three and four. Switch the numbers. One, two, three, four. Two goes up. One goes between three and four. Switch the numbers. You see this is getting very repetitive, right? right? One, two, three, four. Two goes up. One goes between three and four. Switch the numbers. Two goes up. One goes between three and four. And then I just kind of, at the end, I just kind of wing it shape it up a little bit and then I put it in the tin and then I cover it with um, plastic wrap and I let it rise for 45 minutes before I stick it in the oven. <laughs> okay. okay, I hope that's helpful and enjoy your delicious challah and uh, let me know if you have any questions. You can contact me at this email address. Okay.